hi and welcome to my vlog. If this is your first time here, my name is Silly. I'm from Bergen in Norway. However, I'm out traveling right now. So I'm in Tokyo and I'm going to Disneyland Tokyo right now. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited. I've been there once before and I do love Tokyo Disneyland. So when it comes to going into the castle, the Cinderella's fairy tale hall, uh, of course at Walt Disney World it is Cinderella's Royal Banquet Hall. So it's the dining. However, here it's just like a walkthrough of like her castle. So it's a nice way to be able to go into the castle, and it's the exact same castle as in uh, Disney World. So I'm excited about that. That was a cute experience. I like the castle. It was a very quick walk, like a ton of minutes. So now we're going for the snacks. I think I kind of had to wait for it to defrost a little bit. Actually, one thing that irritates me a lot about Tokyo Disney is that you need to use mobile order on a lot of places. However, do they have free Wi-Fi here? They don't have Wi-Fi at all. So I'm kind of like, yeah, how to like, at least I bought Wi-Fi for Asia, but if you don't have Wi-Fi, you're screwed. So yeah, something they need to do better is having, it should always be free Wi-Fi in a park where you need to use the app to order things and to get around. Bad. So one of the kind of rides that I wanted to really do here is the bell ride it's very cute did it last time um and also we're thinking to do the winnie the pooh ride if i remember i believe it's a little different than the one in magic kingdom so yeah we're going to take that now because we got a fast pass for the bell one so at least to get a good getting both of them uh, it was supposed to be a parade but here they were actually like oh it's too hot we're canceling the parade that never happens at Magic Kingdom and it's super hot there the whole summer so that's interesting but and the firework is canceled but it's fine we're going to two more Disney parks anyway this trip uh, but they do have an electric parade at 8 that I'm planning to see We figured out we were going to take Hunt and Mansion. My mom wanted to take it. It said it's only 13 minutes, so that's not bad at all. And I cannot, I don't think I've taken this before, and I'm not sure if it's the same one as in Orlando or not. However, the house does look different though. So I would say that Hunt and Mansion is 99%. Uh, similar to the to the Magic Kingdom one, it was like some small details that was different, but yeah, 99% the same. So 
I was thinking about maybe I should take in the Splash Mountain since it's the original one here. Uh, and since they change it to Tiana's at Orlando, but it's a long wait and it's late, so that's not happening. I'll probably maybe be able to take it in like Shanghai or Hong Kong since I do believe they have the original one there. Cute that they have Crystal Palace, however, I do not believe you can meet Winnie the Pooh there. It's time to do the bell ride. I've been looking forward to it. I can imagine it's very cute. Um, however, just a heads up, it's not going to be any electric parade today because we are very tired. We've been here since like 7 a.m. and it's like 8 now, so that means we've been here for 13 hours. <laughs> yeah, we're tired. just got home and I think it's time to talk about Tokyo Disney. First of all, I love that it is so much more calmer. It's no like a lot of crying kids and angry parents and that kind of stuff to be honest. However, I actually thought about it and I think Disney here in Tokyo is more like in a what to call them adult Disney people because I did not see as many kids as I'm used to in Walt Disney World and yeah it's just like a whole the whole vibe but the whole vibe here in Tokyo is much more chill than in the US at all though uh, when it comes to things that I did not like is that it's no Wi-Fi no free Wi-Fi in a whole park and my 5G went down and it, it was a mess. It was a mess. Uh, also, no princess dresses. I went to all the stores at both Disney Sea and Disneyland. No princess dresses at all. And I was planning to buy one for my friend because I promised her. Thankfully, we were going to more Disney parks. But I was like, but the kids really didn't go around in princess dresses either so I was like where do you guys get princess dresses though like don't you kid want princess dresses? I don't understand uh, but a lot of adults though dressed up like Disney bondings I think that was interesting uh, also pins not a thing here I almost didn't find any pins I wanted a pin for Disney C because I remember last time I was here I bought a Tokyo Disneyland pin but I was like no I cannot buy the Tokyo Disney C pin because I didn't go to the park so my plan was to buy one this time but well did I find it no I think they had to all together like six seven pins and they were not like directly for Tokyo Disney kind of annoyed me a little bit uh, I did get one though for the fantasy spring I will show you all what I got let me see so a little mini haul I didn't get a lot to be honest Tokyo Disney merch I thought it was going to be amazing but it's super bad 
that did not have a lot of nice stuff and or they had a lot of cookies so many cookies in different shapes and different tastes and I saw like the Japanese people going with like a lot of them so I think those are like the main thing that the Japanese people like however I got two of like one Mickey and one mini chopsticks and then I got a chopsticks rester that I thought was cute Then I got this snack bowl, plastic, and the two pins that I got was this for Fantasy Spring, and then this Tangle one. So yeah, cute. And like, it was not expensive at all. This is like... How much did I pay for everything? Not a lot. I think I paid for everything here. So three, four, five, six. Yeah, around under fifty dollars for all of this. That would never happen in the states, to be honest. So yeah. But that's a mini haul. As I said, not a lot at all. But. I think for sure, like, I need a princess dress and that kind of stuff. And I'm just crossing my fingers that the merch in, like, Shanghai and Hong Kong will be better. I do hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you all again.